Welcome to our third installment in this video tutorial on a bolt and nut design. And in this video, we shall be making our very first assembly. And after all is said and done, I think the the design should look a bit like this. Okay, our nut should be able to rotate about a fixed bolt. Anyway, so we go back just just in case. And we just try to reopen everything that we did. We designed our nut, designed our bolt, sorry, and we designed our nut. All right, so go on the new icon and click on make assembly from drawing or assembly. All right, so it opens the most recent design you had. In this case, for me, it was the bolt and the nut. Alright, so I should drag it. The, the mouse is going to have an icon on it. So you click on new, new components, insert components, and click on the nut and the bolt respectively. And it should give us that on our graphics design. Alright, so we go on met. Right, so just the edge of the circle, right there, just click there. Turn the nut around and on that edge right there okay so what i'd like to do is make them co-eccentric and we click okay so the nut can move it can move it can't rotate and it has got no restrictions so i'd like to give it a few restrictions um just make sure that it acts like <coughs> cannot sorry so we go on the right plane not the front plane the right plane click normal two Let's just try to change it to a more line dimension, I feel. No, I can't see properly. Not that one. That one. <clears throat> Sorry. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to align the threads of the bolt and the nut. Together, the inner and the outer ones, that is. Okay. That's about it. Yeah, that seems to be perfect. We bring it back. Alright, just unclick that side and we go on mate. Okay, so this time around, we're just going to go for the advanced mates. And we go on the dime on the distance. Alright. Now when we go on the distance, we click the two faces that we normally would expect for the bolt and nut to touch, and those are those says I love to put a distance. In this case, the distance we're going to put. The distance between them is where the threads begin. I should be like 45, something like that. 45 millimeters, I think that's correct. We can see we've got a thread protruding out there, which means we are all right. Okay, and the highest distance it can go, let's just say it can go up to 125 millimeters. And you can click OK. All right now, as you can see, the nut can rotate about the boat. As much as we wanted to but it cannot go anywhere further than 45 towards the, the boat and 125 outside of it all right so i think we'll do a more analytical design later but thank you very much for watching leave a like and subscribe